I'm Sam Post, and this is the Ghostly Waltz. Sam Post is an accomplished pianist who only started composing music when he was age 25 and has already performed at and been commissioned by nationally recognized institutions like the Kennedy Center. A D.C. area native as well, he's returned to his roots and is currently on the faculty of the Levin School of Music. artist anywhere there are obvious challenges but also you know great rewards and you know being in the DC area there's just a great arts community of listeners um, of mentors for me and teachers and you know I have great students as well who I love um, and I've met some really great people to play with too so yeah it's it's a great place I think to be an artist for sure You know, I went away to school and then I worked um, in the Northeast uh, for a while. Um, but then I came back actually to work at the music school where I grew up taking lessons. Um, so that was kind of the excuse, if you want, for coming back. Um, and But you know, I just started 
I hope to <laughs> build some kind of music career and get to know the music scene around here. So um, it's been, you know, I've been back for six or seven years now and it's eight years actually. And um, it's, yeah, it's, it's been great being back home and back near music people that I know from, from growing up at the music school and, and all that. So I'm trying to stick around and make it a home base. <laughs> I would say, you know, the, f the feeling when you're in the throes of creating, writing music and everything else kind of disappears and you're just there, you know, making this new thing, um, and that feeling is, you know, to, to be able to experience that if not daily, then uh, at least you know, as often as I create the space and time to really do that is, is a great feeling and I wouldn't trade that for anything. I'll come clean. The, the bass line at the beginning of this piece is uh, lifted entirely from a, another famous piano piece. Um, I'll leave it as an exercise to the listener to figure out uh, what piece and, and find that. But um, so, you know, at approximate level, obviously that piece uh, was inspiring and, you know, there's a, a, a mentor of mine, another pianist, we get together and improvise pretty frequently and, and sometimes we'll just pick one piece or one phrase or one idea and we'll just improvise uh, back and forth for, you know, a solid hour or two. And he especially is, um, his name is Carlos Rodriguez and he's just an uh, absolute fiend at the piano, so we, we took this theme from this piece, the bass line, um, which is just eight measures or so, and he just went to town on it for like a, a while, and we we improvised, you know, different types of waltzes and different dances and this and that, um, and so after that, you know, I was inspired to, uh, you know, I wrote three or four pieces just on kind of this one theme, this one bass line, and they're all very very different, I think, and you would, I don't think anyone would recognize the original piece from the piece I wrote because it's so different. Um, so, you know, there's definitely that, and, you know, I think a lot of people will hear obvious Chopin uh, influence in the waltz, but there's definitely a more uh, contemporary, whatever you want to call it, rhythmic scheme going on in the piece as well. It, Jeff, actually, the recording engineer, he he was just listening to me practice today and he was like, huh, that sounds like Chopin and Piazzolla, you know, met in a back alley in Eastern Europe or something, which, um, so I, I think it has lots of influences that way. Um, and even like a ragtime and a bit of jazz uh, too, I think, you know, a lot of people think of, um, when people think of jazz, they think of uh, these colorful harmonies, uh, which is, you know, obviously definitely a part of traditional jazz, but for me, uh, even more so, it's about rhythm and articulation at the piano, so I think uh, people will hear some definite uh, jazz influence in there as well. It was obviously a, a bit of a challenge, but it was also like a lot of time. You know, the days felt very long at the beginning of the pandemic, um, which I think in many ways was good because it left a lot of space for writing uh, new music. And I wrote, you know, I wrote a lot of piano music during the pandemic because I knew that was stuff that I could play. Um, but it also allowed me to, to branch out a bit, I wrote, you know, it was the political season, as some people may know, so I wrote some political uh, songs, um, kind of pop, hip-hop style, which was a little different for me during the pandemic. So it, it just allowed for a, a little bit more exploration, a little more space for that kind of thing, um, perhaps then during the usual kind of rush rush of, of normal life. I'm super grateful to you know, Emergent Seed for having this opportunity and I think it, it's just another really cool reason and reason I'm thankful um, to be here in the DC area uh, just to connect with other artists and, and have the opportunity to play and, and meet the other artists and hear. Um, so, yeah.